Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you had a wonderful week. Happy bling bling Sunday. I even pulled out the dress. I'm excited today. We are doing another butterfly painting. I'm excited. We are doing it with these amazing metallic cutouts. They said they were metal, but they're not metal. They're like a metallic-y covered. So we're gonna do something with those today on a canvas. And I just had to show you, these are the earrings that I made the other day. I think they turned out pretty sweet. So with that, my beautiful people, grab yourself a coffee, grab yourself a tea, grab yourself a drink, something to munch on. And I'm going to get into my working clothes and I will see you in just a minute. Hello way up there. It is. Got my working clothes on. We are ready to go. And today we are doing a silhouette and her hair is going to be um, these amazing butterflies. So that was my thought when I seen, I've been wanting to try this for a while. So like I said, I've had this butterfly week in my brain for, I'm talking months. And it's just a matter of just things just never fell into place where I could actually put it on video for you amazing people. So I went out and purchased, this is a 12 by 36 inch dollar store canvas. Can you see the price? How can you go wrong just to play around with? It is gallery wrapped. It is really sturdy. When I get this stuff off, I'll show you it. So to me, like again, I keep saying, you do not have to purchase all these expensive things and if you wanna play. So my brain is, I wanna do a base coat of this semi-forming of a sort of kind of like a sky. I want nothing. I was gonna, my daughter was suggesting I should paint it black, but then it's like, well, how do I put the silhouette on there? So my thoughts were, I've got my Modern Masters. These are amazing paints. This one is Venetian Blue. I thought I would base coat that and then streak in some of these other colors. This one is Oyster from Modern Masters Metallics. And this one is, brain is not, Rose Quartz. Modern Masters, and we might throw in some of my Pebio Studios Iridescent Blue Green just to give it some little ump ump. So that's that. And these are just freaking amazing. I can't find my, um, like it came with like, I mean, dozens and dozens and dozens, and I can't find the where I put them. You know, my friends that are in my age group that when you put something down that you, so you put it in a certain spot so you'll remember it. Mm. But I know I laid this out because I was playing. So these are what I'm going to use. So the kit that I got off Amazon had four different, that's the same, that's the same, that's the same, three different three different versions. Let me put something behind it so you can actually see it. Here, I'll use my phone. So there's this version. Can you see it? Oh, there we go. That version. Then there's this version. And then there's this version. So they come in three sizes. So there's the large, the medium, and there is a small one. Oh, there we go, and small. So there's three sizes they come in. So I figured I would do the bigger around the head and then work my way down to the little ones. So that is what's in my brain. It's scary to be in there with me sometimes. And it's so cool, like it comes with little, there's little, um, Oh my goodness, little marks where you bend them. And they're meant to be wall stickers. And it came with stickers. The stickers are in the packaging. So I may just put a glue gun on 
glue them on with a glue gun. So I'll separate them so my sizes so I know what I'm doing. We're going to base coat the... Here, we're going to put them over here. We're going to base coat my canvas. What? There we go. There's always... I can sort these after. You guys do not need to watch me sort these. And I'm going to use my um, carbon paper again to transfer this on and then I can just paint it. So with that, my friends, I have my canvas is taped. I have the push pins in it. And you see what I mean? Like it's nice. It's a it's a solid for $15. So with that, we're going to get right into it. I bought these. I don't know if you've seen them in a different video. They are dining plastic trays, even though the styrofoam, they were like 25 cents for 50. So I purchased them thinking I can use them to put my paints in. The brush I'm using today is my amazing Royal and Lang Nickel Jumbo R795 Firm. Purchase it at Michael's. Use your coupon because it is a $20 brush. I'm going to wet it just so that it could take on to the paint. And here we go, my friends. If I can open the container, and I hope there's enough in here. We'll put that in here. Woohoo! It's a pretty color. Load up that brush. Oh yes, that gold is going to pop on there. You know what? I am so tempted to just. Actually, you know what? I might not put the other colors in there. I just this blue is ador is adorable. Is um really pretty. I just crisscross just so it gets into the canvas. Do your nice stroke so that you don't have any lines. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to do just this. And I'm going to come back, let it dry do a coat of um, Mod Podge with some glitter in it. Just because, you know, it is glitter Sunday. It is bling bling Sunday. We have to get something in there. That's what I think I'm going to do. See, welcome to my channel. I change my ideas on a whim. So people, some people get upset with me because they say, you said you were going to, but that's the part of crafting, right? You have an idea in your head and then as you're doing it, because I don't, to be honest, my friends, I love doing these videos, but I'm working five days a week now, which I normally, oh my goodness, I have never done five days a week and I'm talking 12 years. So... I'm finding it a little hard managing different aspects of things. So I don't get a chance to just come down here and play anymore, which is so sad. So when I do my videos, it is, um, 
I'm experimenting with you. Oh yes, I think this was a really good choice of paint color. And that paint is amazing because you do not need, I don't think I'm going to need two coats, but I will. Oops. Just make sure it's all covered. I am going to put a little bit more in here so I can do the edging. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Come back with a glossy Mod Podge and and glitter. Sorry. This is such a nice paint. I, I, like I said, my daughter and I both thought the same thing about having a dark color as a base so that the butterflies popped, but I didn't want to do it black. This is the next best thing because blue and gold are beautiful together. And then do a nice straight, even that out. Make sure that there's no lip on there. I know you are not 100% in there, but I'm just base coating the edging, guys. Nothing extravagant. I'm so sad that they don't carry this paint anymore at Michael's, but I was lucky I got a bunch on the reduced bin. Ugh. I'm going to just do this down here so I'm not... Because when you do it, you get sometimes you get little ridges on the top. Let's do this other end. You know what would be pretty too is the edges done in glitter. <laughs> it is bling bling Sunday. Like I said, things may change, my friends. Actually, that edge is good. Now I'm gonna uh, flip it around. Oh my goodness. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, brush was in my mouth. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna pour just a bit more so I can get the other edge. And I'm just gonna kinda slap it easily down. Like I said, make sure you do not see any white. That's the only... This paint is pretty good. I'm impressed. It is opaque. I don't want to be goofing the top. Which happened there. Let me just... If you run your brush, see how I'm doing it this way, like on the edging. Normally you don't get much on the on the front side if you're attempting to keep the front. Probably should do the sides first. And then you don't goof up the front. Woo, a little bit here and we're done, my friends. 
I don't want to go too much. Sorry, I'm leaning it on the table, which I don't want to goop up the side. Perfect. Done. Done and done. That is the most amazing color. Yes. And I will not come back. I'm not going to come back with a um, with those other colors. I've made an executive decision, my friends. See, I've changed things already. We're not even five, ten minutes into the video. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to grab my Mod Podge. Hopefully I have enough. Uh, let me find, let me find. Oh, I do. But this one's matte. I have a gloss one. We'll see. This one is gloss. This one is matte. So I'm going to see. Maybe I'll mix them together. And we will um, find some glitter and put it together. So with that, I'll be back in a minute when this is dry, guys. Okay, I am back. This is the Mod Podge that is the gloss. And I poured some in. I'm going to pour more in. I got all kinds of goobers. I can buy more of this, so I'm not too worried if I... I waste some of this and then I feel so extremely bad because some amazing viewer had sent me this glitter and I can't remember the name I should have wrote your name on the bag it is apparently it's got no color to it but it has glitter so I'm gonna try it in the in this just because I don't want a whole lot of I don't want it to take away from the pretty color I'm sorry, my cat, you're gonna hear him. Almost looks like snow. Look, look at that. So I'm gonna do that. We will mix it up. Oh my goodness, can you see that? That is gonna be pretty. Like I said, I don't want, I don't want it to be like the whole canvas glitter, just that little something, something. I'm going to use a foam brush and we're just going to give it a good coat. Don't be worried. It does dry clear. to go all funky. I want to make sure I have enough. Like I said, I got goobers in it, so I may have to pick those out. And this will be like semi, sort of a, a finishing coat as well on your canvas. not doing this right but guys it's just I want to get it on there before it dries
trying to get what's in the sponge out. There we go. And if need be, I will come back with a, another clear coat. Okay, I'm going to try. I wasn't going to do the sides, but I have to now because I kind of goofed on this side. So let's just do quick. Just a quick, quick, quick. And that way it's all got that little bit of shimmer with that glitter that's in there. The thing with these sponges, they hold everything, which is good. Can you see the glitter in there? I'm hoping it's going to be good. And I have to go out in between, so I may get some more Mod Podgy stuff if I can find it at the store. I'm just going to put a little more on there so I can cover the whole thing. Now this I'm going to let completely dry. Not that the paint wasn't completely dry. Because I want to make sure that it's clear. I don't use Mod Podge very much, guys. Mod Podge. I was, I was saying it wrong when I first started my videos and I was corrected quite a few times. So, when I come back, when this is dry, we're gonna put our girl here. I'm gonna use my tracing paper and we're gonna trace her out, paint her. That's what I'll do. Get this dry. I will, um, like I said, you're working with my brain as I'm doing it. I will paint this on and then we will do a coat of, a cl another clear coat. And that way both things are sealed in. There you go, my friends. I'll be back when this is dry. Okay, we are dry. Now, I was looking at this little girl. I cut her out. I used the bigger one. And all I did, these are free. Um, I looked up images of girl with long hair and searched through my silhouette pictures. So I went to Staples and I got them to print this off because my printer is not working. And that is that. So I was thinking, you know, do this, do the whole girl in there. But then I got looking at it and I'm thinking, I'm going to do it so she's on an angle. And the reason I'm thinking this is because then, oh my goodness, these intertwine and there's ah, glue on it. Ah. So then I was thinking I could do a little better of a version and then maybe the hair can go up as well. And again, I can't do anything just plain, right? So with that, I, I creased where I want it to be. I've got a piece of carbon paper and I'm gonna trace it out. Now underneath, because it's very flimsy, right? I put a piece of board under there so I can, let me just, move it this way so I have something it is really stuck in there there oh I might need one more because it got stuck in there let me find where did I put it I'm gonna grab it something else to put underneath there just so that it's not gonna affect <clears throat> I'm going to, oh, that's why I knew it worked. I have it stuck on my, there, I, 
had my, I have, <laughs> I have two paintings stacked on top and my cutting board was landing on my pegs. That's why it wasn't, that's how I knew it was a hard board. So there we go. Problem solved. So we're gonna put that there. We're gonna put our carbon paper. Let's hopefully it'll all perfect. And I do not want the ponytail. And I'm going to tape this down on this end. Hopefully it doesn't bring up. You want to tape it. Just so when you're tracing, your ah, it doesn't move. That's too funny. But as long as I'm going to hold it here, this is good. So wish me luck. Hard, press hard. And again, we're going to come back. I'm using a paint pen to do this. So all the lines that aren't cleaned up, you can clean them up. This is just giving you a estimation of where to put everything. I'm just doing the straight head. I'm not putting the ponytail on. There's my cat that thinks he's a pterodactyl. He's got so now he's trying to talk to me. I hope this shows up. I didn't even do a test run. There's two lines now. I don't know if you can hear him. Oh my goodness, he's so funny. We are all covered. I hope it transferred. Oh my goodness, yes it did. Awesomeness. It's always good when a plan comes together. All right, we'll get rid of all my junk I have under here. If I can. That's too funny, I think he wants out. There we go. Perfect. I don't know, I'm gonna show you. Can you see? Pretty cool. Now we will paint her black. This is my Pebio Artist Marker. It is a brilliant gloss, opaque permanent four millimeter paint pen. Now this is gonna be so permanent. I'm gonna outline and then come back in. Pardon me, you can't see. I'm gonna have to angle it, guys, just so I can. But I think you guys can still see. Yep, perfect. Okay. Be careful. 
careful when you get to the little nose. All these little details make a difference. Oh, that hair, I don't like that. bring this over so I can kind of see where I'm going. And again, abstract my friends, nothing has to be perfect. Piece. Maybe I can come in. Oh, I've already put the gloss. Anyways, we'll figure something out there. And I don't want to go over the edge. He knows how to get my attention. He is clawing at my can <gasps> canvas. A little bugger. He is adorable, though. I'm talking about my cat. He's distracting me. It's not bad. Like I said, my only thing I do not like is that there. The edge without going over. There we go. Oh my goodness, Sherry. Loving this paint pen. I'm gonna have to get some more in different colors. I have paint pens. I bought, I don't know, when I first started doing. Um, so they're like four years old. So I may have to just a set from Amazon. It was just a cheap set just to try. And the funniest part is I never tried them. They're probably dried up by now. This is so much easier than pulling out the paint. But I might get a little, oh, I just don't like how that turned out there.
I need something fine tip to bring it to a tip. Or either make it bigger. I don't know. Oh, I don't want to play with it. Oh my goodness, do I put a fake eyelash? I have all these eyelashes. Good. Just that hair. I don't know if I should make it make it a little thicker here and then so it goes around. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna make more of a mess of it. So that looks good. I can see a little blue in the hand here. Let me just Oh, and there's hair in there. How did that? Let me just. That is hilarious. I wonder nothing picks up with these tweezers. Look at that. <laughs> they don't even close. So, I am impressed how this turned out. Let me flip it so you can see. Isn't that cool? And then she's going to be holding. Uh, where are the little ones? She's going to hold a little one in her hand. Like that. Maybe a little. Bend it so it's not... Scored lines. That's what I was trying to say. There's the score lines on there so that you can bend them. There we go. Like that. So she, I'll glue it. And I'm probably going to use my glue gun. So she'll have that butterfly in there. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to get a, I'm going to go out to the store and I'm going to do some running around and I'll come back and we will finish up and 
we'll be done. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, I have my paintbrush. I'm going to bring it in so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Where are you? I am right here. You can see me a little. Okay, so I just got this very fine, fine tipped paint brush. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm just dipping it in. And I'm trying to come over the black. I just want it to be a really fine piece of hair. That looks okay. And then I'm going to come back. I hadn't and put some Mod Podge over it once it dries. So I'll rinse out my brush. And we'll let that dry. I don't know if it's any better or not, guys. But it does. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. But I think that is cool. I'm going to bring you out. There you go. So with that, my friends, I think that is adorable. I think it's pretty. Something different, as you know. So with that, my friends, I hope you enjoyed Sunday's last day of Butterfly Week. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and give it a share, hit the bell for notifications. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. And in my description box, I have the links to my Amazon shops, which I'm an affiliate. I have the links to um, my Facebook page. I have the links to Bundy Molds and have a discount code as well. And the two amazing, my Larez distributors, um, the amazing and wonderful Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Um, go check her site out and use my discount code Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And the wonderfully amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my glitter guru, and also my American dis Larez distributor. Um, my discount code for her is all capital letters Sherry Molten 10. And check out her site. And last but not least, I have the link to my PayPal link if you want to donate. And with that, I'm going to take this upstairs, hopefully, and give it a little better of a view for you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed Butterfly Week. Here you go, guys. Run it outside. You can get a better look. I thought it turned out kind of cute. Maybe they're too uniformed. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Love you guys.